Did you know that Tony Iommi invented heavy metal on ultra light gauge strings? These are the brand new Tony Iommi Signature Electrics from Labella Strings. Now, somewhat counterintuitive for the godfather of heavy metal, but these strings are gauged 8 to 32 with a pair of 8s on the E and B strings, an 11 on the G, an 18 on the D, a 24 on the A, and a 32 on the E. This particular set of strings was designed for Tony's E and E flat standard tunings. Obviously, he has tuned down to C sharp over the years as well. <laughs> Now, I'm sure many of you know this already, but for those who don't, Tony lost the tips of his middle and ring fingers on his right hand being left-handed. That would be his fretting hand at the age of just 17 in an industrial accident the day he was quitting to go on tour with his band. Tony had planned to quit at lunch and not go back, but his mother urged him to go back and finish the shift. He went back, guillotine style press came down, trimmed off the tips of his fingers, leaving just bone and uh, he ended up going and getting them shaved down and quit guitar for some time. Being seriously depressed, I guess his foreman, who uh, the manager of the, of the factory, came to him and showed him an EP of Django Reinhardt, fantastic jazz guitarist who had basically no use of his ring and pinky fingers on his fretting hand, uh, but was still able to play incredible jazz guitar with just his index and middle fingers. This inspired Tony, causing him to try to figure out a way around his now uh, handicap on his right hand. So he ended up melting down some plastic squeeze bottles and turning them into little balls and then using a soldering iron to basically poke holes and make these little balls into caps for his fingers so that he could once again fret the strings. And he ended up taking an old leather jacket, cutting it up and fixing the leather to the prosthetics so that he could actually grip, but he still found it very painful and difficult to perform legato techniques such as vibrato and bends and obviously bent vibrato, which Iomi is famous for. <laughs> And so what he ended up doing is trying to go lighter and lighter on string gauge and ultralight strings weren't available at the time. So he ended up finding a set of banjo strings and using banjo strings blended with guitar strings to form these ultra light gauge sets. Eventually over the years, he found different companies that would build the sets for him, but nobody ever offered them to the public. Tony joined with Labella in 1990 and they've been providing him with strings ever since. But again, up until now, we've never been able to get them. So. Just this past January, LaBella released the Tony Iommi signature strings, again, designed for his D sharp or E standard tuning. And so for the very first time, you can actually feel what it's like to have a guitar set up like Tony. And obviously it's much different if you're used to playing tens or even nines, these are much more slinky, much easier to pull in and out of tune. Uh, but these actually hold tune extremely well. I've been very impressed. Uh, this isn't any sort of paid sponsorship. They did send me a couple packs of these to try, but super impressed. In the past I had tried eights, uh, not this exact eight to 32, but probably eight to 38 and they never held tune very well. These hold tune extremely well. I did the entire demo section. I haven't actually retuned the guitar. Uh, so they hold, hold tune really well. They're very light, as I said, designed for E flat standard tuning. Things you'll notice obviously is that kind of big low end bloom you get. <laughs> playing stuff like War Pigs, just the looseness of the strings that kind of vibrate in and out of tune and, and 
depending on how hard you hit them, you know, you gotta kinda hit them light. And if you push too hard, they'll go out of tune pretty quick as well, so it just requires a light touch. Tony had filed down the frets on his guitar as well to make them really low, epoxied the fretboard. And you can really get that iomic style vibrato. took a lot of getting used to here was that both the E strings being eight gauge. So the B string is actually lighter in tension than the E, which is interesting. But I think the light tension overall is really where a lot of that cool warbly iomic vibrato comes from. You know, it allows you to perform a very tight and fast vibrato like Iomi and uh, really gives it that signature tone in my opinion. <laughs> And so for anyone who has chased that early Black Sabbath tone over the years, we've got a pair of Laney supergroups here. I'm playing through uh, a 6900 watt. This is a 6960 watt. I've got a Range Master on the floor. We've got a Tony Iommi Monkey Signature SG Special with P90 pickups playing on that bridge pickup, volume rolled back for the rhythms, cranked for leads. The strings are really the final piece to the puzzle. I do believe they impact the tone. They certainly have a large impact on playability and just really cool to uh, finally add that final piece of the iomic tone puzzle. <laughs> Now you may be wondering, but what about C Sharp? Obviously, Master of Reality, Volume 4, Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, Sabotage, all in C Sharp standard tuning. Originally, Labella just released this set, but if you've been watching on Instagram or on YouTube, the shorts I've made about it, tons of people have requested that C Sharp standard set, and we were able to convince them to do it. So I don't even have them yet, but they were released on their website uh, yesterday. And so you can head on over to Labella's website. I'll have a link in the description and pick up this set or the C-sharp standard set. The 9 to 42 set, once again, extremely light for C-sharp standard. Those are gauged at 9, 10, 12, 20, 32, and 42. So you can try those out. I will definitely be trying them out, as well as a bunch of uh, additional strings from Labella. Again, just very impressed with the tuning stability more than anything. Uh, for a guitar in such a, with so little tension on the strings to hold tune so well, uh, just very impressed. So go on over, check them out. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. I wanna send out a huge thank you to everyone who supports this channel over on Patreon with a very special thank you to all of our Riff Lord and Riff Messiah tier producers. For another video just like this, you can click the YouTube video directly below me. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, you can do so by clicking the round subscribe icon. So until next time, always remember, Tony Iommi is your friend.